Hi, this is Gerd Leonhard, Media Futurist in Basel, Switzerland. Today with a new episode of GerdTube, uh, Friction is Fiction. This is a very important topic. In fact, it's so important that I wrote a book about it called Friction is Fiction. If you want to get a free download of the book, go to frictionisfiction.com and you can download, you can also buy it on Amazon. If you wish to buy Dead Trees, you can get it there and of course on Lulu. Uh, so what do I mean with Friction is Fiction? Basically what friction is, is some sort of hurdle that makes us do things because we want something. So in, in the case of, for example, uh, if we want a movie, we have to buy a DVD or we have to get cable TV. We have to do something to go over this hurdle and that's friction that generates revenues. For example, in music, the friction is that either we download for free and we're sort of illegal in parentheses or we stream on YouTube, which is sort of half legal. In any case, if we want to be doing the right thing and be legal and we have to buy on iTunes and the friction is that it costs a dollar and we have to use Apple equipment. So what's happening now is that a lot of people are getting worried about this idea of uh, uh, getting over these hurdles all the time. For example, uh, if you're looking at this slide, many ways on the internet now you get in these notices uh, when you're trying to play a video that's filmed in America. You can't see it here because it's not licensed here. If you buy a DVD in Hong Kong, a real purchased, you know, legal DVD, you put it in the DVD player here, it won't play because there's region coding, so-called region coding on it. Right? If you want to make a ringtone from your I, uh, iTunes song, it won't work because it is protected by copy protection, or it used to be, they have changed it now. Uh, now Apple has a device where you connect a, a, a certain kind of monitor to the, uh, to the notebook. It won't play because you could record from the monitor output. Right, so there's all these frictions that make people do things and of course now newspapers are starting to say well if you want to read the New York Times more than 12 times a month or whatever it is whatever they've then you have to pay the $25 you have to subscribe that's the so-called paywall so we're seeing this friction all around us and uh, now it's becoming very hard to actually accept this. I mean, this is a, this screenshot here is from my iPad, where I purchased 15 movies for my wife for her birthday. We were on an airplane. Turns out that the 15 movies I bought for three euros a piece only last for four weeks until they get automatically deleted, because that's the rule that Apple and the content owners have cooked up. So five weeks later, we're on the airplane. None of the movies are working, right? And so what this makes. Uh, the consequence of this for, for consumers is that we're saying, you know what, we don't care whether it's illegal or not, we just go somewhere else because this is just too much hassle. We're no longer willing to accept all of the friction. For example, uh, 15 years ago, to book an airline ticket, we'd have to go on the telephone and call the airline and they would have a database called Amadeus or whatever it's uh, uh, in those days, and they could look up the connection for us and quote the price, and the fact that they knew about this made them able to charge more and of course uh, enabled them to also charge a commission. Today we go to kayak.com or we go to Expedia or we go to TripAdvisor, we can look up the same thing. In fact, now when I'm at the airport uh, waiting for my flight to take off, I use an app called Flight Tracker, and this app knows more about the upcoming flight that I'm on than the person at the gate, right? because I have the power of the app connected to the web with all the information the person at the gate does not. So we're no longer really happy about these friction things, these artificial hurdles. And you can see in the music business that the music business has declined 71% in the last 10 years because all we ever got there for the good money that we spent was friction. And the same will happen with books. If we're going to rent a book, buy a book on, on the Kindle or on the iPad or whatever, and the book is 14 euros uh, electronically, and then the printed book is 16, then the value of the electronic book is like 50 cents because I can't give it to anyone. I can't, can't even print it because it's too big. Right? And then it will eventually expire if somebody pulls the trigger. So this kind of friction points won't work. That's why one of my main theories is friction is fiction. That also goes for business context. For example, in banking, anything that makes the customer unhappy uh, is not a good thing. Uh, as you can see on this slide, the idea of disconnecting people from the internet because they're finding alternatives is a very bad idea because it criminalizes them rather than solving their problems. Um, you can see here what's happening with the paywalls of the Times in the UK. Uh, they've lost 70% of their traffic after they put up the paywall. So you have to pay before you can read the newspaper online. 
also in most cases not a good idea because it's creating lots and lots of friction. It's much better to do what the Huffington Post is doing or what many other businesses are doing, which is to make it fluid for the user. Uh, the alternative, as you can see on this slide, is to make the process fluid, to make it work and organic and in many cases it also means rather cheap or affordable. Lower the price, make it wanted. As we've seen, for example, in the US, ever since mobile providers came up with flat rates, a thousand minutes for $15, everybody's using the mobile phone. So flat rates, blanket offers, uh, bundles and those kind of things, that's, that's really fluid. If you're looking at some of these examples that I'm coming up with in the next slide, as, uh, it's also really important to be transparent about the pricing so that we don't feel like we're becoming a victim of friction. So um, very important point here is that if you're in business and you're monetizing, you're making money because you're putting up some hurdles, you can pretty much anticipate in the near future those hurdles will be removed by law, by consumer action, by people ignoring you. That's pretty much inevitable. Uh, and so the process of removing the friction can be rather painful because we've gotten so used to it. Uh, but what we're seeing around the world is that this is something people will not be accepting in the future. So we need to create fluid and liquid environments. If you're looking at what YouTube has achieved by making self-produced video and other video available in a frictionless way is extremely powerful. Facebook right now, 700 billion minutes spent a month on Facebook because that experience is completely fluid. There's no friction. There's no what if. There's no uh, repeat loggings. There's no payments for now. You know, we can uh, probably buy Facebook credits eventually, buy other things with that. So the liquid stuff is what's really happening if you're looking at Wikipedia and YouTube and, and of course, Twitter and, and eBay and Skype. It's the stuff that works without bothering us with unneeded friction. The stuff that does not work, DVDs, region coding, uh, cable television to a very large degree, the music business, traditional ways of booking hotels and stuff. I mean, every single hotel now, you can book online, you can watch videos, you can read the critiques, you can look up on TripAdvisor. So the power is moving to the consumer. So friction is fiction. Make this sort of a paradigm of your business, I think, would be good advice for the future. Thanks very much for listening and uh, go to mediafuturist.com to check my videos and uh, futureof.biz to read more about Friction is Fiction and of course finally my uh, book URL is frictionisfiction.com. Again the book is free if you want to download it as a PDF debt tree you have to pay for making a tree debt. Thanks very much and see you around.